Okay. Time to go. Time to go. Where are we going? Need to go to the the Washer Bluff. Shoot, we've missed it. Okay. Rain stopped. And then that means the rain stopped. Or it just means it's very red. Okay. 55. Shoot, come on. Don't take this away from me. No! Did I just miss it? Or does it mean it's just on 12 and I have time? I have a feeling that's a no. No, and it won't let me pause. There we go. Come on. Come on. It is on the hour and it's past. It's past. And it won't let me climb this thing. And it's raining. <sighs> Alright, I've come back from the middle of a Korok video to get back here and say that it's finally time for a Blood Moon. I found out because I experienced the Blood Moon and had to go back on my load a little bit and come back to it when I had less Koroks in the earlier time of the day. Radio, Blood Moon's in an hour. What you need to do is clear yourself of everything. Take it all off. And then await for... I didn't mean to drop them, but alright, fine. And then await to be judged. So fun fact, this took so long to do, Under a Red Moon is complete, and I'm not going to talk to Cass because I can't be bothered, the Mijaro Key Shrine. This is a week later. I decided to do the, the I mean, the other montage video a week later because of how my recording schedule was going, but still, it took me basically a week to finish all the shrines in this area. So much for it being short and easy. <laughs> And it's a modest test of strength. Okay, at least it's not too lengthy, but still. Arr. Still no Guardian Axe or Ancient Axe Plus. Damn it. Okay, Ancient Battle Axe Plus. But there we go. That is our final shrine here. Worst. Shrine ever. <laughs>